Right everyone, Wack Collector here. Right, I was watching uh, one of Weapons and Stuff 93's videos recently about his uh, favourite knives. And um, I've also been asked to do that, so I thought I'd finally do it. So there'll be a category of knives and I'll just show you, I'll tell you the category and then I'll show you what my favourite knife is in that category. So first thing, the first one we'll go for is EDC knife. So EDC doesn't necessarily mean legal carry because my EDC mainly uh, revolves around being in my house or on my own property so I can carry a lock knife for my EDC your EDC may be uh, your work knife as well so what this is it's a Ganzo G729 which and it's basically a knockoff or copy of a Spydeco paramilitary or paramilitary 2 but with an axis lock so it's like a combination of a Spydeco and a Benchmade very nice knife you can get them on gear best for something about 15 quid um, and very very good quality for that kind of price definitely definitely the same quality as something double the price <clears throat> yeah that is my indoor EDC knife very nice decent size very usable knife got a nice tip on it yeah so there it is that's my EDC knife so the next category will be legal carry knives so this one will be sub 3 inch blade non locking so this is my current favorite EDC although I do like the Swiss Army pen knives this little sand wren is my current favorite you can flip it out non-locking so this is nice and stiff and one of the things I like about it most it has a flipper on it and that flipper foot whatever you'd want to call it acts like a guard so that if the knife did shut on your hand it wouldn't close on your fingers now as I showed you you can flip these out but it's quite difficult you can't always do it because they are very stiff and you have to do it with a flick if you just try and press that down it's very um yeah sometimes you can't even do it that you can see how um, hard i've had to press that but um yeah very very nice little knife you can flip it out dual thumb studs um only one position clip which is not very deep uh carry but doesn't really matter um i'm not too bothered by that i'd i prefer a tip down carry clip purely because i find when i hold it i don't feel the clip so much if the clip's down here it always seems to be in the way for me so this has also got a couple of little tools on it so it's got the blade itself obviously a glass breaker a gutting hook or a sharpened hook and a little phillips screwdriver and then on this side, flathead screwdriver and a bottle opener. So it has got some multi-tool options similar to a Swiss Army pen knife. And as I mentioned, it is sub 3 inch blade, so it would be legal to carry. Doesn't lock. Yeah, so that's my uh, legal carry knife as of now. But you can't beat the Swiss Army pen knife really for pure um looks uh in a if you're being if you're being uh checked by the police and they find a swiss army pen knife the looks of it is non-threatening i don't know about this one especially with the flipper and the uh tanto blade but it is perfectly legal still anyway so yeah so that's legal carry right so the next one will be multi-tool so this won't be your traditional multi-tool with pliers and that but it is definitely a multi-tool so it's this SEMA flashlight uh, multi-tool pen knife so not your traditional leather man type uh, multi-tool but this has multiple tools so it is a multi-tool so it's got a flashlight battery's running out a bit there which takes an 18650 battery so good decent bit of power I think it has two or three settings and a strobe pocket clip on the side there and then the tools are very similar to what you'd get with a Swiss Army pen knife so you'd get 
the blade non-locking as well so this is legal carry that's a sub three inch blade that doesn't lock so you could legally carry this so you've got a blade tin opener and bottle opener Phillips screwdriver with some uh, spanners there wrenches fish scaler and a ruler file and a saw and a wood saw yeah some decent tools there really and this one is available from Gearbest as well same as the um, San Renmu as well saying that so yeah um, or was anyway I don't know if you can still get these it's a pity because for what this is it's a very good little um, torch really yeah 18650 battery yeah very nice that would be my multi-tool so the next knife is my favorite fixed blade now I must admit this is a toss-up of three knives but the one I would probably pick I'm gonna use for a different category anyway so um, favorite fixed blade is my Muella tactical tanto knife really really nice knife this is absolutely lovely um, tanto blade there it is there really nice looking big blade about eight inches long very sturdy hard um, ABS or something type plastic handle uh, it's got a big tang in there it's not a little stick tang I've seen these opened up and uh, got a decent tang in it yeah very very nice knife. you can see the handle so it fit most people big size um yeah and this is a fighting knife uh not really um not really for camping or anything like that but yeah absolute lovely i put a lanyard on it so if you hold it in a certain way you can't slip up too much or the knife can't be took off you or um dropped but yeah there it is Muella Tactical Tanto, absolutely lovely knife that is. The sheath could be slightly better, only thing is I would like on this would be a leg tie, so that when you pull it up you're not pulling the sheath up because it's tied to your leg. But yeah, other than that though, it's a very very nice knife, uh, yeah, always really like that, always like Tantos. So the next category, favourite lock knife. Now, I've got so many lock knives, this is really hard to uh, decide. But when I looked through them, I did see one that I thought, yeah, that's probably the nicest lock knife I've got. And I really do like that, because it's quite unusual. Uh, looks like something else when you see it, but yeah. Kissing Crane Stiletto Lock Knife. Not a flick knife. Looks exactly like a flick knife now, but that and not a button. So, you open it up, there it is, absolutely lovely, it's got that um, horn or, yeah, antler um, scales there, but it's exactly the same build as a flick knife would be, but without any spring or button, so it is a purely manual locking knife. Yeah, absolutely lovely this is always really like this I would have got more if I'd um, realized how much I would like it very thin stiletto blade pointy you know these are pretty much only for one thing as well which is um, <laughs> it's what they were designed for um, you know, it's not what the knife is for itself you know you can use the knife whatever you want but that kind of blade was designed for stabbing really yeah there it is, Kissing Crane Stiletto. This model is KC48, Kissing Crane. Yeah, I would definitely say that's my favourite lock knife. So next up is my favourite camping knife or woods knife. And it would be this SEMA um, sheath knife. Or well, you call it really, sheath knife, survival knife. I've had to adjust it and put some um, Kydex in because it wasn't very secure in there. But um, it's got this all right. It's got quite a decent sheath with plenty of different positions you can put it 
on your um, belt or your back or your bag and the knife itself is just a sort of small standard sized utility camping knife in a bit of a fancy handle but just here if you take that piece of paracord off that slides out and that's a ferro rod in there and it's even got comes with a bit of um, the finish removed already to do it you've got some nice jimp in there for when you're working similar size to a mora uh, in fact is that probably slightly smaller than a mora uh, i'm not sure about the same kind of size oz 8 steel yeah very nice little fixed blade camping knife doesn't look too threatening you know if you was in the woods with it yeah very nice little utility knife i think yeah that one's available from gear best as well uh, yeah, very nice. I really like this. Yeah, when I first got it, I didn't even know that was a ferro rod. I found out by accident. You just take that paracord off and that slides out and this little ferro rod in, inside the handle. But yeah, if you do buy one of these, they don't come with that um, Kydex insert. I made that because I wanted mine to not be able to come out. But it's, it's not bad without it. It's just it's uh, a bit loose. I wanted to have no movement with the knife. Yeah, that's that one. I'll just tell you what it is if I know. Um, SEMA T601. That's my camping knife. So the next knife will be my favourite military knife. Or could even be described as a fighting knife. But uh, yeah, definitely my favourite military knife. Fairbairn Sykes fighting knife. Got to be. Uh, anyone who has one of these knows how lovely they are. I'm not sure what model this one is, or even if it's a genuine one, but it's definitely old, I know that. It's older than me. Um, so, yeah. But, um, there it is. Yeah, fair bond, so it's fine enough. This would have been slightly longer originally, but the when I was a kid, I managed to snap the tip off, keep messing around with it, digging it in, and then bending it the wrong way. And this is a reproduction sheath, but pretty much exactly what they would have been this is like to cut this down to get it to fit in they must have done this the wrong size but um yeah gotta love the Fairbairn touch fighting knife designed for one purpose and one person one purpose only and that's for uh killing people really so yeah hold it in a fencing grip um yeah there it is you know if you've never seen these check them out look them up Air Barn Touch Fighting Knife. Absolutely lovely. Right, there's that. And then finally, my favourite homemade knife. So, here is my Machete Bowie, which I made recently. I've still not got a sheath for it yet. It's got a nice oak handle, aluminium guard, and it is made from a cheap uh, Tramontina machete sharpened up nicely I've got videos of myself cutting bottles with this yeah lovely big blade this is I love the looks of this it just looks really good and um, the thing I like about making these or anything like this you can make it to your own size your own shape and uh, yeah and you get something that's really good the blade is already tempered so you just uh just cut the shape keep the knife nice and cool as you're doing it so it doesn't lose any temper yeah absolutely love that i think it came out really good i'm definitely gonna make more of these yeah that's what i call anyway my machete bowie it's a bowie knife made from a machete yeah i think it's about 10 inch blade probably about 14 15 inches overall yeah that is probably my favourite homemade knife as of now. So yeah, that was it. That was my um, favourite knives in all different categories. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you feel like you want to do this video as, as well, definitely do it. Um, I'd like to watch and see what your favourite knives are in different categories. You don't need to pick the same categories as me. I pick different ones to Liam. Uh, so yeah, pick whichever ones you want. Uh, but yeah, feel free to do it. I would like to see that. Let me know and I'll watch it. And I'll even share it and probably put links for your video in the description to this one. 
if you do. So yeah. Alright. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you saw something interesting. If you was interested in any of the knives you've seen, there may be links below to um to places selling them. And if you buy them from my links, I'll get a percentage of what you spend so you can support the channel that way without having to do it do anything. There's a Patreon as well, a Patreon account if you want to do that. So yeah. Alright? See you later. Before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.